to Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. There you are. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Leo. First card out, strongest energy for the week is the Four of Swords. Followed here by your energy, Major Arcana, the Sun card. Could be also dealing with another Leo. The Magician, another Major Arcana. Whoa, lots of Major Arcanas. Three out of um, six Major Arcana so far. Major Arcana, the Magician, the Justice card, another Major Arcana, Libra energy. We also have here the Two of Wands. And one more card for Leo, please. Time is elusive. This could be happening now. This could have already happened. Maybe happening in your future. The Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Cups. Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio energy. This Eight of Cups definitely wanted to come out. It flipped over earlier. And here it is. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So we are speaking to some sort of connection that you are experiencing, about to experience, have um, recently experienced friend family member lover doesn't necessarily have to be romantic obviously for some of you it will be past position we have the four of swords and major arcana the justice card definitely some sort of pause here some sort of break the four of swords speaks to taking a break taking a pause also a sense of meditating praying really sort of trying to um tap into the self and figure out something here for somebody lots of masculine energy here as well male or female it does not matter we all have both so you could be dealing with a masculine that this is uh, kind of what's going on or this could be you. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. If it doesn't fit, leave it alone. The Justice card is all about some sort of balance here. Creating balance. Creating equality. Someone seems to be thinking how are they going to bring about balance in a particular dynamic that does mean a lot to them. Whoever this is, you mean a lot to them. They mean a lot to you. Mutual affection and feelings here with the two of cups and someone is showing up as the king of cups that's definitely someone with a lot of emotion but i do get they have been taking some sort of pause here in the past in order to figure out how uh balance is going to be created also someone could have been locked up with the four of swords and the justice card definitely there could have been some time served or time you know could also be someone waiting to get out in order to create some sort of balance but whatever it is, whether this is karmic energy, whether this is actual being locked up or actual legal situation or just balance within the, the connection between the two of you. There's a sort of um, a break that someone has a lot of time to sort of think how to do this. The sun card in your present position, um, all about happiness, happiest card in the deck, nothing happier than a baby on a pony. This is all about flow, going with the flow. The two of wands is a decision that is has been made. Definitely a decision has been made here. We are no longer in the process of making the decision. The two of wands signifies we've decided. We know what we want to do. We know what we want to, where we want to go, which direction. We also have two twos here. It could be seen that as a synchronicity. Twos is usually about partnerships and connection, unity, mindset. So I do think someone is realizing just how much of, um, how much joy and excitement you bring to their life. And it's sort of a decision to sort of move things forward because the two of wands can also be a sense of new contracts, new commitments. The magician is, how am I going to make it happen? The seven of pentacles is a sense of definitely like, how do I make this happen? Seven of pentacles can also be a sense of waiting. Someone could be waiting for a particular, especially if there's some sort of incarceration energy. That could also be why waiting is necessary or this person knows that they have to wait. But it's like they very much know exactly what they're going to do and they no longer have to wait. They know exactly where they're going with that Eight of Cups. They know exactly where they're, where they're going. Eight of Cups is usually walking towards the Two of Cups. So whoever this is, if there's any sort of particular um, reason why um, in their mind they can't move forward, it's only a matter of time. Looks like there's something in particular that is preventing this person from making the moves they want to make. Whatever this justice card is representing. But they know where they want to be. Definitely someone that knows where they want to be. Someone that knows where their heart's at. 
The seven of pentacles could also be a sense of putting more time and energy into something. Investing into something more in order for it to grow. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. The four of pentacles and the king of swords. More masculine energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the king of swords. But this is definitely someone that you probably have not been seeing eye to eye with. with the five of wands. With the four of pentacles, this is a sense of also not wanting to um, lose the situation. You also have now two fours here. Two fours, two twos. So it does seem like someone wasn't sure how to go about sort of creating permanency here. And maybe there was a bit of um, not seeing eye to eye or not being on the same page for a little bit. So this is almost like someone taking a step back. Like, how do I fix this? How do I maintain this? How do I, um, what do I got to do to not lose this? Because there is something that has been causing drama or causing conflict here with the Five of Wands. Some of you, there's definitely a legal battle that someone is dealing with that's kind of taking up their time and attention. That's why they can't fully invest in this current situation. But as soon as this thing is over, they know exactly what they're going to, where they're going to be investing, where they're going to be putting time and energy into with the Seven of Pentacles. The King of Swords is saying this person is completely clear. If there's any sort of lack of clarity, there is going to be clarity as well as a con possible conversation about this. Also could be that this person is cutting whatever sort of creating conflict in their life in order to hold on to this two of cups. Because there is something very stressful that this person is dealing with. Nine of swords, nine of wands, you now have two nines. Page of wands is all about good news. There is a legal matter that someone is dealing with for, with somebody. And it's it's definitely taking up a lot of their time and energy and money even. And it's very stressful. It's almost like this person is telling you to sort of hang on, hold, like, you know, hang on, bear with them. For some of you, this is absolutely a friend that is going through something right now and they can't be the best. They can't, they're not, unable to show up as the best friend they could possibly show up as or they want to show up as. But it's only a matter of time before this is cleared and they can. There is some sort of good news that this person is going to receive that looks like it's going to release them from this sort of heavy energy, this stressful situation. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I do see so you might have put some boundaries up. Definitely might have put some boundaries up. And we, I see the Four of Cups. So I do get this person's a little bit afraid that the opportunity might be missed altogether. Guidance, please, for Leo, if this is a romantic situation in particular. There's a little bit of fear that the situation, someone, you know, that someone might be too late. That's probably what is stressing this person out even more. Because there's a lot of things going on, I think, other than your connection. That's really um, taking a lot of energy out of this person. We have here, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So for those of you that are dealing with someone that is going through something, this is exactly what is going on. Whatever it is that they have going on in their personal life is really sort of um, affecting their ability to show up for you. It's not a matter of them not wanting to. They just can't. And it's very stressful to them. Because if you have put any sort of boundaries or if you have created any sort of distance between you and them, it's really affecting them. It's like everything is just falling apart at once kind of vibe. That's the feeling that they're getting. It's creating drama between you. They still got to deal with this situation. But there is love there. There's absolutely love there. Whatever you feel for this person, they feel for you. Confirm with the King of Cups, the Two of Cups. And they know where they want to be. Maybe they just can't be there right now. The Eight of Cups also can be a sense of releasing any sort of... Um, baggage that keeps you from being in this sun energy you do make them happy though you do very much make them happy and we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life i do think that this is for whoever this is that's kind of stuck in something here there is a sense that they do need to take control and i do think that's what the ace of so uh, king of swords is about I think they're just going to be like, you know what? I'm no longer sacrificing my happiness for the sake of others. Could be family issues that's kind of preventing them from um, being showing up fully in this connection. If you believe and trust at the bottom of the deck. Those are actually flipped over. Sorry, we'll take those two. What okay, things do we have for Leo, please? So, 
I guess it's kind of like behind the scenes. This is kind of behind the scenes. The good news could also be coming to you because I do think this person is going to come to a realization that they can no longer put their life on hold. It's one thing when you when you don't know what you want, but when you know what you want and there's things that you perceive as blockages in order for you to have it, it's very stressful. Obviously, this won't be for all of you. And for all of you, this will not be a romantic situation. It definitely could be a friend that is going through some things right now. And you guys, you know, you're used to hanging out. They can't do that right now because they got a lot going on. And it does hurt them to know that, you know, whatever is going on in their life is affecting their connection with you. But give your relationship a chance. Says there is opportunity to work on it, to build on it. So I do get a sense that um, this person does not want to lose you. And most likely you don't want to lose them either with the Two of Cups here. If this is your reading. So maybe a conversation definitely needs to happen. And it will come to an end. We have Nine of Swords and we got the Swords with this, um, this uh, King of Swords, which is Ten of Swords. So going from the Four all the way up. It will end. Whatever cycle this is, it will end. Could also just be a cycle as well with the with the justice card. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah. And conclusions are within reach. Very much so. As I said, this period is just a typical a, a, a rough patch. It also could be as it says, your commitment is being tested. Are you um quick to bail? Obviously there's 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 levels, right? There's levels, but I don't think whatever is going on is is from is stemmed from your connection with this person. Your connection is great, but this person's definitely got some things going on that could definitely affect the vibe of the connection. But conclusions are within reach. So a conversation, answers, and your commitment is being tested. Guidance, please, for Leo. So I did. I think I said the signs. Leo, Libra, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have... What? Decimating the Darkness. Interesting, I haven't seen this before. My shadow shows me where my love needs to be sent. That's exactly it right there. Someone is realizing they can no longer put time and energy into things that... Um, it's just bringing them down, causing drama when there's good things in their life that they can be pouring more time and energy into. So this is definitely what's going on for someone here. The, repri the reprioritization of time and energy. Not letting something be a hindrance or a block. Decimating, decimating the darkness. My shadow shows me where my love needs to be sent. And I think you are where it needs to be sent. I think that's the realization. Because you do bring a sense of joy and um, playfulness, happiness to this person's life. So they're really realizing, I need to invest more in that. And less in this Five of Swords energy. Five of Wands. Anything that's kind of bringing this Five of Wands energy, I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to go straight towards this Two of Cups, Sun, Four of Energy. Guidance with this for Leo. So you could be getting some good news. Whatever this conversation could be good news to you. We have sent by perspective. Be playful. Number 51, which is a six. And dream the world into being. So be playful. That is the guidance. Someone is now choosing um, joy over misery. Guidance, please, for Leo. And it's very clear where the, where the, where the source of the misery is coming from, I think. That's what's going on. And maybe someone was a little confused as to where the five of where, where the conflict was coming from. But if you have put any sort of distance between you and this person, it's definitely, they're realizing it's definitely not coming from you. They're actually very feeling very, you know, like they're missing something. They're missing that sort of sun energy. That's why the decision is made to sort of go towards that. And we have, they'll be back. <laughs> Expect to hear from them soon. Pretty straightforward, Leo. They'll be back. That is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.